These are the most comfortable. Waking up in my bed, just as stuck in my head. I'm not even hungover. I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video. So today we are going to be spending the day in my closet, in my walkthrough wardrobe. I have a walkthrough section from my bedroom to my ensuite behind with a closet, built-in mirrored closet on one side and then on the other side I just have a clothes rail and a chest of drawers and that is where I am going to be organizing all of my clothes. So absolutely all my clothes, all of my makeup, all of my accessories, absolutely everything. Previously I had some stuff like stashed under my bed in storage, I had some stuff stashed up the top of the closet in storage and I just wasn't ever reaching for it. So if I didn't have it available to me in the closet, I just didn't wear it. So I thought it was time to go through, give it a really nice declutter. I really do like having a capsule closet. I have had that before. Mm -hmm. I'll be working towards having another capsule closet for this winter. But I did receive some beautiful pieces from Lily Silk who are very kindly working with me on this video. And I just wanted to use the excuse of having some new pieces in my wardrobe to give me the motivation to go through and have a really good declutter and really go through and get out anything that I haven't been using or wearing. I work from home making YouTube videos full time so I don't have the need for that huge kind of corporate wardrobe that I used to have when I worked in an office. So it was really time to go through and have some, not some tough decisions but just to really be realistic about what I'm wearing, what I need and not keeping too many things of the same type of thing that I just don't wear anymore. Obviously I want to keep a few bits and pieces for when we go out or do nice things or I want to get dressed up but just not needing to have so much of that type of clothes when typically I'm just wearing either gym clothes or super super casual outfits. So if you are interested in hanging out with me and seeing how I really took some serious steps to simplify my space then just keep on watching. Now before we get stuck into the organizing and decluttering and sorting out of the wardrobe, I just wanted to share with you a couple of the new pieces that I've picked up recently from Lily Silk, including this gorgeous, absolutely stunning oversized shirt that I've worn in quite a few ways. I wore it in a couple of videos so far and you all commented on how nice it looked. So first of all, thank you very much. But I wanted to share with you some more details about it and a couple of different ways that I've been wearing it. I absolutely love the feeling of this shirt. It is so luxurious. It's like second to none, like nothing I own. And I absolutely love wearing it. Absolutely one of my favorite wardrobe staples has got to be this lily silk crop top bra it has no underwire it is so comfortable it's so comfortable i often sleep in it it is that comfortable this shirt has a super oversized fit so just bear that in mind if you are looking at picking up this shirt it is already oversized so i would say don't size up just stick with your normal size It looks and the feel is just gorgeous but because it is so oversized I've just done it up in a knot knotted it at the front so this will look really cute with jeans a skirt I've just got leggings on at the moment because I'm filming um, I also have worn it like as a little overshirt over a dress and I also just wanted to share with you again these Lily Silk pillowcases that I shared on my Easter Decorate With Me video because the pastel green colour I thought was just perfect for a little bit of a spring, even though it's autumn here in Australia, little springish sort of Easter themed refresh of my bedroom. 
I absolutely adore these Lily Silk pillowcases. The things that I love about them is that they're really cool touch, so they're cool to sleep on. Silk is also a natural fiber which is great for your skin and hair and it doesn't absorb moisture. They don't absorb your skincare, so if you go to bed with a lot of skincare on like I do, they don't just suck it straight off your face. They also look stunning, they look so beautiful and they are such a nice feel to sleep on. Having your face on there for eight hours a night, you really wanna have something quality that isn't gonna give you wrinkles, it's not gonna give you those lines on your face when you sleep on maybe a cotton or a synthetic fiber pillowcase. You just wake up feeling so fresh and with such beautiful skin. Okay guys, so now into the closet declutter and complete overhaul organize. Now I filmed this video over two days, actually three days I think now. We had a few little health emergencies, Riley had a tooth incident that needed to be attended to. So on this day I started by taking everything out from wherever my clothes were stored. So I had some in my wardrobe, some in drawers, I had some in storage under my bed, I had some in storage in the top of my wardrobe. I wanted to get it all out together in the one place so I could kind of sort it out, see what I was working with and put it in some order before I started the decluttering process. Waking up in my bed, just a stuck in my head, I'm not even hungover, I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong, then ask it to come over. Oh, incredible, I got my shirt on without any makeup getting on my head. I think I need a procrastinating cup of tea before I get started. I've already had two coffees and one tea this morning. Why am I whispering? I don't know. One tip I definitely can recommend you do before doing any closet declutter is to make sure your laundry is all caught up and up to date. So when you're decluttering, you're going through everything. Nothing is worse than doing a full declutter and then realizing you've got a full laundry basket of clothes that you then have to find space for in your freshly cleaned and decluttered closet. Um, got a cuddle and I said you came home the night before. Although it was never too big for a cuddle. And I said no. He always uses it as an excuse to show how much taller he is than me. Okay. Yeah. My handsome boy. My handsome baby boy. Yeah. Gonna be 16 soon. Yeah. Okay. Jake, I'm gonna you're gonna have to help me lift something soon. And build a shelf. You know, like the one that goes in the garage, it's like your favorite thing to build in the world. Yeah, not really. City of mine, how I 
super special occasion they do need to clean but they're actually very comfortable to wear and then have these ones which are actually pole dance shoes from lessons he used to be really good at pole dancing hmm in a fight think I'm losing my mind but I guess that's what love do Just 
So when I was going through my clothes the first time, I picked out the things that I knew for sure that I wasn't keeping. I just had enough of them. I really didn't like wearing them or they were just really worn out or the wrong size. Then after I had hung up my clothes, I went through a second pass through and I was really kind of ruthless and I asked myself, would I buy it again? Does it fit? Does it make me feel fabulous? All those single questions. The one thing that I really ask though is would I buy it again and would I buy this item again in this condition. So if it needed tailoring, if it didn't fit, if it had some holes in it or something, but I was still wearing it, would I buy it again if it was in this condition? If the answer was no, I just got rid of it. One more season each, like this one, this one, these two I really like, this one, and probably this one. It's starting to look a bit worn out. So I think I'll wear these for a few more times each and then pass them on. But everything else, it just packs up. I'll just bring it out again. I think I've had this for, uh, it's older than Jake. And it's, um, I got it from like an outlet. It's just Mossimo brand, but it's so good and it's so. Uh, classic and timeless so I don't think I'll ever ever part with this and it's been all over the place with me all around the world so that's saying these I mean these were popular quite a few years ago it's a Balmain knockoff blazer but it's just pretty pretty much a staple and then like I said actually I need to get this one cleaned or I might actually just put it through the wash on a gentle cycle it's got a bit of a mark on it and then I think I might wear them a couple of times and then just, I don't know, maybe upgrade them for maybe one nice blazer this winter. But I'm happy with that. That's good. All the stuff I managed to declutter this time. There's also a few pieces out there that I'm going to see. They're kind of more like nicer bits that I'm going to see if any of my girlfriends want. This is just all going to go to charity with these I'm kind of disappointed in these because these weren't super super cheap and they've all like I haven't worn them many times they've just been sitting on a shelf basically as you can see they're really good condition but the um inside of the straps is all deteriorating and I'm sure that someone will still wear them but they are pretty uncomfortable to be honest so they're gonna go in the giveaway these ones, I'm kind of sad to be giving these away. I purchased these when I went to the States a few years ago for a girlfriend's 40th. I think I got these in Marshalls in Boston. Um, but they're really, really uncomfortable. And I never wear them. And I've got a very similar pair, which are much more comfortable to wear. So they're going to go. These, I think these would be fine to donate. I mean, they send shoes that are still in good condition. They're still wearable. They send them overseas, so... Those are going as well. Another pair I'm kind of sad to get rid of are these Mimco shoes. But I got these uh, again at an outlet. But they're just like about a half size too small. And they're quite a narrow fit. And my feet are kind of more like wide. They're quite comfortable though. And they look super cute. But they're just a little bit too small. Too narrow of a fit. So I just don't wear them. 
Last pair that I'm thinking of getting rid of, but I'm not quite sure. These are really comfortable. These are my favorite. Again, these were a purchase that I made in the States. I think that I've got them at Marshalls as well, the same place that I bought these ones. But these ones are Michael Kors. They're really comfortable, but I've worn them to absolute near death. And I don't know if they can be fixed because they're all like kind of worn out here, kind of worn out here. So I'm not actually sure if they can even be fixed. So I might see online where you can recycle shoes that are beyond repair because I don't want to just throw things into charity that you literally can't wear. Like I know for a fact someone in a charity store will see that and say I don't care about that or I've got a thing that I can do to fix it and they'll still wear them. Because once they're on and buckled up you can't see it. So they're okay to go in. But these ones I think are beyond like you could, I mean you could wear them but I don't know. They just look a bit too worn out to me to be even able to be given away. Alright, so that is that. Now I am going to bag this all up so I can just drop it straight away in a charity collection bin. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Uh, Alright, that is that. Since I had the 3M hook box out, I just want to uh, little storage hooks up there just to hold some backpacks and get them up and out of the way. And I did the same on the back of the bathroom door. So there is one fixed one where you can hang a robe or a towel or something, but I just popped another two so you can have extra space. Like sometimes if you've worn something, it's not super dirty though, you wanna wear it again. Or sometimes if I outfit plan the next day, I'll pop it up there. So it's just a nice spot to have a little bit of extra hanging space for things. Now these are all, these are all empty. These were all the storage boxes that I had up here. So now I've just popped that. That's just some like a box of photos and then that's just all my important documents. Um, and that one up the end. I think that's the only one in there and it's got like gift wrap and party stuff. So all gift wrap, balloons, party, like candles, happy birthday signs, all that kind of stuff. And then there's a one box for the boys. So it's stuff that Jake's outgrown. Like I only keep the really, really nice stuff, like a few polo shirts and things like that, that Jake has outgrown and I'm gonna keep for Riley. And uniforms too, that he's outgrown and will pass down to Riley. But that's a ton of extra storage space that I have just freed up. And I'm not exactly sure how I've done it because the bottom of the bed is now just all Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, and then one big scub box, the next size up of this. And it's just got all of like the really super, super wintry clothes, like kind of almost like ski gear. Well, it does have some ski gear. So hopefully we can go for a little cold weather, little vacation with Freddie and the boys when it gets really cold, like somewhere where it's really nice to have like a fire or something, a little, um, um, where well, like a little southeast Queensland getaway, Stanthorpe or somewhere maybe. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much the closet declutter and organize section done. Whoo! Um, like I've still got, I've still got way more clothes than I really need. But you know, I've gotten rid of quite a few. Big, nice big bag. Um, one of my girlfriends took some. So I don't know. I think. Also having it out here, I might be more inclined just to pick bits out every now and then and just drop them off to a charity bin. Whereas if they're all stuffed tightly in the wardrobe where you can't even get to them, you can't see them, I'll never wear them and I'll never like be like, oh yeah, I see this, I pass it every day, I know I definitely don't wear it or I don't like it anymore. I'm never going to drop them off to, to charity. But here I might say, well, yeah, okay, like... 
I might wear it a few times this I might wear it a few times this season and then after that just add it to the charity box but there's definitely a few pieces that I want to pick up so I've just been making a list as I've been going for some staples a few replacement items and also like a little debobbler to take the like the peeling off some of the things that I wanted to keep so yeah but that is the decluttering part so now it's the fun part of planning an outfit for Easter and yeah just getting that sorted out for Sunday <laughs> This drawer is all my shorts, so I've just got some shorts that I wear when I'm walking Freddy. These are just some gym shorts. I want to get some denim cutoffs so they will go in there, leaving some room to grow into. This has all of the sweatshirts and then winter kind of undershirts because we are moving into autumn. We're in autumn now, we're moving into winter here. Down here, down here we have uh, all of the sheets for my bed. And then in the very bottom we just have pool beach towels and then I popped all of my bath like hair turbans hair wraps down here all of my reusable makeup remover wipes and then loofers and scrubby exfoliating things down there because it all kind of fits <laughs> Freddie are you back there it all kind of fits in that towel type theme towel type vibe over here top one is makeup this one is the one that I need to get some organizers for. So I've got some more of these downstairs. So that is going to be another project to organize all of this stuff. So like makeup, hair and beauty type related things. This also needs a little bit of organizing. Accessories. Oh, I've got my little stash of Piri Bandies there, which I'm really loving. Honestly, highly, highly 100% recommend. And clothing maintenance tool, so steamer, roller, sticky roller, lint roller, hair, hot hair tools, and then there's just some, it's like a micro, micro derm abrasion tool, and then this I use when I'm doing my makeup sometimes, if I want a bit of better lighting, you can just plug it. <laughs> I've got my little thing of all my Lily Silk scrunchies. I love these scrunchies. I particularly love the biggest size that's in there because it makes, even if you've got like short hair, it makes it kind of feel out. Like when I do my bun with the scrunchie in it, it kind of makes it look like you've got more hair. So it's kind of like those, you know, those donut bun things that you used to be able to put in and then wrap your hair around. If you just do it with that big scrunchie, which is the biggest size, the next size up from that, it just fills out your bun so it makes it look so much bigger than what it actually is because mine's only like shoulder length at the moment but it looks like I've got heaps more hair than I really do which I like um, and this is another thing I love about Lily Silk they try to they try to minimize their wastage by turning all of their off cuts into items like scrunchies eye masks and all of the things that just need little pieces of silk so to minimize wastage uh, turning it into something that people can use, which is great. So nice little setup here. Is this doing here? Oh, it's supposed to be here. Super hard to film because we've got mirrors literally in every direction. But this shirt is a super oversized fit, so Sorry. just bear that in mind if you do want to pick it up. I picked this up in a medium because I have another Lily Silk shirt, which is this one here. This one here. And I picked this one up in a small. Yeah, this one's a small. Because, well, I mean, I'm kind of a size 10, Australian size 10, which is kind of a size small. But it's it was kind of a little bit fitted, like on the arms um, and just around the chest. So I went with a size medium for this, but I did realize it was already oversized. So just bear that in mind. It is already oversized. You don't need to size up. Just get your regular size because it's already oversized. size. But I do like this kind of super, super baggy big look. It's really comfortable. The sleeves are a bit long. I'm only petite, so the sleeves are a bit long for me when they're full length. But I just either ooh, pop them up like that or you can always roll them up. They do have a really nice cuff on them, so they stay up 
when they're pulled up, they don't fall down and keep falling down. Um, the other thing you can do also is just use the scrunchies. Mm -mm -mm. I think this is like a really 90s kind of thing to do. You used to be able to buy these like metal coil type things that would hold your sleeves up. So you can kind of like just play with it and then it looks like, like that. Now obviously you'd probably want to get a scrunchie that matches the colour of whatever you're using to hold up. But then you can have it like still a long length, but it's just not mm, all the way down. Look at me, just need a glass of wine. Actually I have one, let me just go get it. That's enough of me being fancy. So let's continue on with the closet tour. I don't need that because I'm happy with just keeping them pulled up. Uh, now here we have the whole rail, which is kind of organized by hanger, which is the way that I like to organize it because if these hangers were interdispersed with these hangers, I just, I couldn't deal with it. So we've got all of the like skirt and pants hangers up this side. And then all of the felt hangers, slimline hangers holding this side. And then it's just kind of color coordinated and within the colors it's kind of grouped by style. So kind of fancier stuff on the left and then going to more casual to the right. So that's how I've got it organized. It works for me um, and I'm happy with that. And then I've got these two. These are my absolute favorite things from Lily Silk. I literally wear this. Um, every day that I can. So I have these two crop tops and these are the most comfortable bra type replacement garments. They are incredibly comfortable. They're so comfortable in fact that I quite often sleep in them. I have worn these so much since I got them and I wash them multiple times a week because I love wearing them so much so I want them in constant rotation. I definitely have to pick up some more. So I've had this one for about five or six months wash it and wear it multiple times a week. It has held up perfectly as good as new. This one, I did spill a little bit of my face oil on it, so I'm just working on getting that little stain out. But this one is new and I actually bought it to wear specifically under this dress, which is, which is one of my favorites. But I noticed from filming videos that you can sometimes see like just slightly if you're wearing a bra just under here. So I thought this would be great to have one that was this color so it kind of blended with it because I just wear this dress so much. I thought it would be nice to have a colour coordinated bra top, crop bra top that I could wear underneath. And if it does like show a little bit here, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. But these are definitely my absolute favourite. And I definitely need to add some more to the collection. They used to have only two colours, this one and like a nude colour. But they've got this apricot colour and I think they've got a a light bluish, maybe like a periwinkly kind of colour. These are chef's kiss, my favourite. Highly, highly recommend these. All right, I've raved about those enough. Let's get back to the organised. Well, it's not kind of organised yet. It's more like decluttered, ready to be organised. Now in here we have all of the wooden hanger section. So as I mentioned before, I like to organise by hanger type because in here it is probably a little bit more sturdy. Although this Ikea rail, honestly, $10. I've had clothes rails that if you put two coat hangers on there, it's gonna be swaying from side to side. This one is not budging. It is so sturdy and it is loaded, jam packed with clothes, hangers. It is heavy on here. It is ooh, kind of a lifted, but it's not going anywhere. So I highly recommend this. It was $10 Australian from Ikea. So, so in this section of the closet or wardrobe, we have some outdoor walking jackets, then we've got some more kind of going out type jackets, a couple of blazers, an overcoat. As I mentioned, I've had this for many, many years. Oh, it's come all around the world with me. It's older than Jake and I will never get rid of this jacket. Blazer, just some knitwear. And I mentioned before, I think I'll just wear a couple of these pieces for this winter season and then probably pass these ones along and thin them out. But for the rest of them, I usually keep them for a couple of seasons. Like I've had this one for quite a few years now. You might recognize that, you might recognize that, you might recognize that. Um, this one, 
honestly, this was just like an outlet purchase and I was wearing it again when I was in Boston and someone said to me, oh my god, your sweater is so cute, where did you get it? It's like, like that, like typically that kind of um, American accent that's like that. And I was like, oh my god, I'm from Australia. And she goes, oh my god, your accent is so cute. And it's a, it's a running joke between my girlfriends that went that we went together with. It's like we always say, oh my god, that sweater is so cute. Whenever we see each other, we're like, oh my god, your dress is so cute. Because that girl was so funny. Um, but anyway, that's a little bit off topic. So that is there. And then in these drawers, we've got socks and jocks type underwear sock situation. Then we've got gym wear, so we've got black leggings, black crop tops, different shorts, workout shorts, workout leggings. Next draw down is like t-shirts and then crop tops and workout singlets. And then the very bottom one down is just pyjamas, pyjamas, socks, um, and kind of like sleep tops and sleep pants and things like that. So this is the outfit for Easter Sunday, this is the ASOS dress, this is the wedges that um, I've had for ages from Novo. Uh, this is the Lily Silk blouse and I just wanted something that was covering up the arms just to make it a little bit more put together. Typically I'd wear a denim jacket with this outfit, either a white one or just a denim, denim jacket, but I thought that this just looked a little bit, I don't know, kind of nicer. And it just gives you that little bit of extra coverage without too much heat because it is still really hot like I've got the aircon on today because it was hot work doing that declutter. The cute little Easter Sunday outfit and the quality of this shirt is just second to none. It is so gorgeous. Honestly um, I would wear this to sleep. I'd love to have like pajamas. Oh pajamas. They do have obviously pajamas. So guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. I didn't film an actual outro, but I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, seeing the new pieces that I picked up from Lily Silk. I will leave all the details in the description box below, along with a discount code that will save you some money on your purchases. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if your wardrobe is in need of a declutter. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. That's enough of me being fancy.